Greetings and salutations my friends, welcome to another video. I haven't got much time today, but there is a, a point I want to discuss and I'm hope, hopeful that Sports Interactive will, you know, check this video out and have a look at it. Because today I want to discuss the topic of why people aren't playing the latest version of Football Manager. And I've got some stats, some hot stats to back it up. This is actually really fascinating about who's currently playing what version on Steam. And it's not, these numbers are a decent chunk of players. Like, I'm sure Sports Interactive would like to get them onto the newest version. I often get comments, like, most, like, there's usually like a, a couple on each video, like, really regularly about somebody saying that they're still playing FM 2018 because of X reason. And of course, there's a massive reason is money. Like, a, a lot of people can't afford to bet, buy every new version. But there are a ton of people that could buy the new version that just decide not to. So let's find out, this is fascinating, how many people are playing the different games right now on Steam. So the first one, Football Manager FM 14. <laughs> An eight-year-old version. It's, like a, it's almost like a classic database at this point. There is, in the last 24 hours, there is currently almost 600 people playing an eight-year-old Football Manager. Keep an eye on the all-time peak. This is the max since its release, the max it's hit in any one period, right? Because this is going to be interesting as we go through the games. So, I'm expecting the player base, you know, the amount of player people still playing these games to gradually go up with each version. And I'm hoping that this all-time peak, if the game is growing, is, you know, selling more copies and more players, then this should be going up as well. So, as we can see, FM15, 700 people in the last 24 hours playing it. The peak goes up to 81,000. Loving that. 869 people playing FM16. 82,000 peak. 1,200. I don't know it, I don't know why. It just blows my mind that there's still so many. It shows what good games these are. That even if you don't get the latest version, you're still enjoying the game and playing the game as proved by these figures. But as we can see, the all-time peak is not going up. It's... You know, it's 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 pretty much staying the same sort of average. 1,670 people playing FM 18. 2,800 people playing FM 19. Again, peak. Not really going up. Now, this one's... <laughs> now, this one's interesting. Um, two years ago game, uh, still 8,000... Look at all... That's, that's potentially 8,000 people that don't own the game that are really interested in Football Manager that Sports Interactive could sell to, you know? But look at this peak. <laughs> and I think, correct, let me know in the comments if you want to do a little bit of digging and find out why. But I found the date. So it was March was when it hit. So not when the release of the game, um, but in March is when it hit. March and April, it hit its big concurrent numbers. So let me know what happened. Was it a free-to-play period or something? Or did it release on something else? Let me know if you find out. But basically, this is a not natural growth, because as we can see in last year's FM, there's currently 19,000 people playing, and the peak drops, still an improvement from the other years, but it drops heavily back to 93,000. And then, obviously, Football Manager, 69,000, respect. <laughs> Such a child. And 81,000 peak. So, this is obviously a special event or a thing. There's going to be reason for that, and as we can say, see, it was pretty much all in these three months, and then it then it went back down to sort of more their average numbers. But what we're seeing is that Football Manager, on a player basis, I don't know the exact number of copies they sell each year. They might be selling more each year. At the end of the day, that's what they want to sell, boxed copies of the game. But as we can see with how many people are actually playing these games, it doesn't seem, it seems to be the same bunch. And it's what we've talked about before. Because Football Manager is such a hard game to learn. It's... Oh, I, 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 would, I wouldn't learn it. If I was starting afresh, I'd, I would take a look at Football Manager and say I wouldn't learn it. And that's a constant problem, Football Manager. Any detailed simulation game has to get through is that that barrier to entry, <laughs> the wall of knowledge that you need to learn, But even if you know football. So, but the question of this video then, obviously if, you, if you're skin, if you've not got much money and stuff like that, answers its own question. I'm not talking to sort of people along those lines. But, or maybe you just don't buy Football Manager every year because you only play it, you know, for a few hours. It's not worth it to buy every year. That's fine. 
But all the, there's so many comments I get saying people like, it didn't change enough. I haven't, so I'm not buying this year's version until I see some certain upgrade, until I see X or Y, I'm not gonna buy the latest version. So in the comments below, tell me what that X and Y reason the, is, because I'd be interested to read it. And I, I'm i hoping, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody, if they've got a brain, somebody, sorry, apologies, uh, from Sports Interactive will watch this video and have a nose. Any feedback is good feedback for game companies. So give me honest reasons why. My problem with what I hear a lot of people saying about Football Manager is that they are expecting so much from each game, so many changes, so much new stuff, like constant complaining that there's not enough new stuff in the game, which could be argued, to be fair. But to the extreme, you, you're you doing a simulation of a sport. You can't, if you changed, if the new game had that many changes, it'd be rugby. Like... It still has to copy sport. It can't just revolutionize the game because it's copying something. So to say, so those people that say, I'm not gonna get Football Manager until X or Y, until this thing comes in or whatever it is. Like, I'd love to know what that is. And, because it just seems to be, I don't know, like there's point, there's, there's many things that Football Manager have updated that I've not been a fan of and stuff. I don't care about training. I thought it was good for people that enjoyed it, but not for me and stuff. But I don't, I'm trying to put my shoes into somebody that was not bothered about buying the new one. What would it have to do? What would the new thing, it, I, I can't even think of it like a shiny new thing that Football Manager could do that would get those players back. You know, I, I'm desperate to see a whole new set piece creator, right? Because I think the set piece creator is, is incredibly basic still and needs revamping entirely. That's probably my biggest thing I'd like to see next year, one of the big things next year. But even if they did that, that doesn't change. That's not going to be a game changer, is it? That's just slightly better, in the end of the day, slightly better set pieces. It's not this big change. So if... You are playing one of these older games. If you are one of these guys playing FM16 still, you know, I'm sure there's people that have got like 100 year saves that they just don't want to leave, which is totally fair enough and everything. But imagine the developers of the game that you love are watching this video and are reading the comments, right? Without being a dickhead and just insulting people or criticizing, like try and be useful. Give feedback to Sports Interactive to say, I love your game. I'm still playing FM 18. And the reason is this, this, and this. I preferred the, whatever, the transfer system. In it. I, I preferred it before they changed training or, you know, whatever it is. And what thing you might see that would, like headline feature for FM 23 that would make you go, you know what, it's time to dump the old game. This is it. It's come far enough. It's changed enough. I'm going to go in on it. I'd love to know. And also if anybody could, work out what this March, because I was going to say like a free weekend could do it, but then that that lasted over three months. So game pass for a bit or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But there you go. So, like I said, just a quick video today, but I'm, I'm it's just one I'm genuinely interested. I'm not sure how many people are going to view this video, but I'm, I get a lot of comments saying I'm never, it doesn't do enough. Same old game, same game every year. Yeah, because it's football. It can't be a different game. It has to. So I'm love. I would love to honestly love to know what it would be that you would go. Yeah, I'm getting back in on it. That's a big change. Maybe it's a giant graphics update, or you know, maybe it's it's something that needs to change for you, or you know, maybe it's got too complex. That's another really good reason. I'm playing FM16 still because every iteration the game gets a bit more complex, doesn't it? There's a bit more bolted onto it stuff. So maybe you just like a simpler game, and that's cool. I'm not. All your reasoning is totally legitimate because it's your reason for playing different versions of the game. I just love to know why and also what would make you buy the new game. Right, there we go, my friends. Have a fucking fantastic weekend. I hope all your dreams come true and you get to see boobies. Because I don't, male or female, this is not, you know, I just think boobies are great and we should all get to enjoy them. So there, right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you back on the journeyman on Monday. I have a lot of work to do with the journeyman save because I have to buy a whole team. 
with no money and no wages. So that's going to be fun. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.